I was talking to Trader a few minutes ago. He's um, in one on one. He's been doing very, very good. I mean, really, really well. And he just he lost it yesterday, and he ended up blowing through a lot, a lot of his money, a lot of money in one of his accounts. Now, again, it's expensive less right now. He's he's stressed out. He's heartbroken. He's got the whole weekend to torture himself. Okay, but that's that's not going to get you anywhere. Early this morning, we were talking about breakthroughs and then breakouts. You know, breakthroughs and then breakouts. There's a reason why I say what I learned through Mickey and Judd and, and other people through the years is that if you break even your first year, two years, or even three years, break even your first one year, two year, or three years worth of trading, you are so far ahead of the game. That means you're going to have these big $10,000 blow up days and you're going to have these big $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 uh, positive days too. But every single day, is going to be another lesson. Every single day is going to be another day to learn something. And you all, all of you, all of us, have to always be on the lookout for what is lurking over our shoulder that wants to take that fucking money out of your account. As Judd was talking about earlier with Jonathan, with JV, talking about um, outside reversal high and lows on the weeklies and what that means and how you trade them. And, and, and it's our job as traders to find how to get from one number set to the other, from one level to the other, from point A to point B. It's our job as traders to figure out how to get there. It's also, more importantly, it's our job as traders to learn how to get there without blowing ourselves up. And then we talk about these things all the time in group. We talk about them every single day, all day long in live trade. I tweet about them. Every one of my tweets is about how not to blow ourselves up. You know, I'm not meaning this in any kind of a condescending way because, I, you know, the reason I know it so well is because I've done it. It's because I've taken two steps forward and four steps back, three steps forward and five steps back a thousand times until 15, 14, 15, 16, 17. In 13 and 14, I had, a, I had the breakthrough. And then in 15 and 16, I broke out. 18, my life changed. 2018 my life changed again why because i hung in there and because i was diligent about what lurked behind me and yes i make mistakes but not many and, and when i do i get a hold of them i don't let them blow me up and if they do it's manageable it's manageable i still don't know if i made money or lost money today not, not a huge week i had a big part of the beginning part of the week yesterday i didn't do shit today i didn't do anything I fired myself after a few trades because I, I found myself getting aggravated. I found myself thinking and not reacting. And listen, you know, as I wrote this morning, it's our job to be here tomorrow. I want to be here on Monday because maybe Monday is that six figure day for me or a seven figure day for me. I haven't had, I haven't had a seven figure day since I've been back, you know, in the second phase of my career. I've had a few six figure days. I haven't had any seven figure days. Maybe Monday is that day that I have a million dollar day again. In order for me to get to Monday, I have to get through today without blowing myself up. And if I recognize early that today is not a day that I'm going to really be pressing, today's not a day that is going to be really, really good, conducive to either my mindset or to my process or to my methodology, then I'm just not going to trade. I'm going to get caught up on other work, which is what I've done. I'm going to do my one-on-one -on -one private mentoring and I'm going to enjoy it because I love, I love, I love helping change traders' lives. I fucking love it. As my wife was talking about again this morning, she hasn't seen me as well-rounded, happy, as happy as I am in years because I'm, I'm doing what I love most, trading and teaching. I'm doing what I, I wanted to, I wanted to retire when I was 35. Instead, I got divorced when I was 34. I was going to teach when I retired at 35. I had the money. I had the money to never have to work again when I was 35. Well, I mean 34. Instead, I got divorced. So there went my teaching. My teaching is now. I get to teach now. And if you guys want to be here till Monday, then I implore you to listen. I implore you to not only take advantage of what we're doing in here. There are two really dangerous times for in, in, in our careers as traders. Two really dangerous times. One is when we're on a bad run. Most traders want to double up. Most traders want to you know increase their size and they want to make their money back. They got to get back the money they lost. That's really dangerous. Another really, really dangerous time for all of you, for all of us, is when we start going, we start really, things start to click and we're really starting to make a little money. We're really hitting on all cylinders. That's a very dangerous time because now you start feeling very good about yourself. You start really thinking that 
that you're all that in a bag of chips. If that's a, what a stupid saying that is, but you know, that you really start thinking that you're the next one, not, you don't think you're the next one Buffett, but Hey, I, I'm really good at this. I'm really good at this. I am, I am, I know I'm really good at this. And I also know that if I believe I'm really good at this a little bit too much, I'm going to blow myself up and that can happen in a day. I've seen traders go through millions of dollars in a single day and I can do it here. All I have to do is change my, you know, my unit size from, from, from 16, 24, 36, 48 to 480 and then double up on that, have 860 on, you know, how quick that would fucking happen. People from the risk management start calling me and, and, and ask me what's going on. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm good. I got the money. You know that. Before you know it, I've got a thousand dollars left and they're shutting my fucking shit off. That can happen. I know it's ha it can happen. I've seen it happen. It's not happened to me, but I've seen it happen to others. I am not going to let that happen to me. I'm not going to let that happen to you guys, but you have to communicate with me. You have to communicate that to me. I can't help you if I don't know what's going on. I can't, and I want to. Well, today, the market didn't do shit. I'm watching it. I'm watching the S&P. I wasn't going to trade. I don't trade it at 7.30 on an unemployment number. I'm going to wait until 8.30. But I'm watching. I, I was thinking about trading the bonds, but I missed the rally, so I scratched it. Gold, I don't trade from an opening range basis, and I'm not going to trade it on a number. I don't like trading things on numbers unless I already have something on. But I kept watching the S&P try to rally, try to break, try to rally, try to break. It was just having these big, violent moves from 30 to 38, 30 to 38. Looked like... You know, 37 offer, 6 offer, 5 offer, 4 offer, 3 offer, 2 offer, like they're going to zero and then stop, dead stop. And then 2 bid, 4 bid, 5 bid, 8 bid, 7 bid, you know, and then stop. So immediately I came in, you know, already thinking, eh, this is going to be a crappy day. I, already on the defensive, already thinking too much and not reacting. Day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. We do the same thing, day in, day out. We talked last night, we talked yesterday in group mentoring about how to make this process work for you, how to make it yours. That's what we talked about. It's a hat with a strap on it. You just got to adjust the strap to make it fit your head. And that's the case. You can't change the methodology. It stays the same. But there are a lot of different ways that we make it subjective to each of us so that it fits our style. But with that said, you all, all, we all have to be on the lookout for the same shit that's lurking behind every single one of us. And I said us, every single one of us, because I am cognizant of the fact that I got shit lurking behind me on my right shoulder that wants to destroy my career again, but I'm not going to let it. One trade at a time, I don't let it. One trade at a time. So for that trader who had a bad week or a bad day, which put him back a month, the good news is it was only a day. It was a bad day, but that's all it was, was a day. We've got thousands of opening ranges in front of us. We've got thousands of trading days in front of us thousands if we do the right things in order to be here tomorrow because again like i said maybe monday maybe monday's that that big day for me maybe it's a six-figure day maybe it's my first million dollar day in in 10 years who knows i don't know but i know i'll be here for it so everybody if you had a good week measure your week by how you executed not by how much money you made okay or lost if you executed well Go over your notes, do your homework, read, you know, and do your reading, get caught up on what's going on around the world so that we, you can anticipate the fundamental macro stuff, but do the work internally to make sure that you don't get that one trade that you're going to let blow you up. Make sure you don't get that one trade that's going to blow you to bits. Because all of a sudden you're getting your ass kicked. All of a sudden you're giving back months and months and months of work. Please take it easy. Don't push, don't fight, don't rush. And for God's sakes, reach out to me when things are getting rough. Let me know what's going on so that I can do something and I can help. Have a great weekend. None of you guys are the greatest traders in the world. None of you guys are the worst traders in the world. We are all just traders trading one fucking day at a time, one fucking trade at a time. That's it. So everybody take it easy. Have a good time. Don't feel too shitty about yourselves and don't feel too good about yourselves because Monday is a new day and it's one trade at a time and it's one day at a time. And that's, that's it. Nobody fucking fights alone in here. So don't do it. Don't isolate yourself off. God bless all of you. Sleep with the angels and the saints. And I'll see you as Monday.